Travel alert. Hmm. Not good. That would be ice. That's ice. Starting to form there. Today is the day. We're leaving for Mexico and it is terrible conditions. I'm worried if we're even gonna be able to get out of here today. I've already been talking to the other Guggens. It looks like there's delays, there's cancellations already happening. We're already discombobbled. It's just a typical Guggen trip, you know. It's 32 degrees, so it's like right on that borderline of freezing rain. This is Texas. This is not supposed to be happening. What is wrong with you, Texas? This is why I live here, so we don't have these issues. I haven't lived in North Texas in a while, and now I remember we usually get a few days out of every year up here where it freezes. Yeah, just gotta get in there with them fingernails. Oh yeah. Boys G, big nails. Use those ghetto nails, girl. Take your easy and you'll be fine. I know, Amy. No! It's happening. Red lights. The traffic. Everyone going back to work. Rainy days. Almost freezing in Texas. No one knows what to do. <laughs> it's Texas. We don't understand snow and ice on roads. We, we shut it down. Nope. Pull over. Don't, don't even go. Meanwhile, kids in Chicago are trudging through three feet just to get to first period. I hate being this person that like realizes that they have to merge like at the last possible moment. Because everybody's like, you cheated! That's okay, we got a baby on board. We need a sticker. You know what? I need a sticker that says bass on board for my boat. <laughs> anyway, when you cut somebody off and you have a baby on board, I feel like it softens the blow a little bit. Like, oh yeah, she's a mother. She's probably getting it somewhere important, you know? Or she's stressed out of her mind. Yeah, she's stressed out of her mind. If you have kids, you understand. Emmy, this is my first trip. Going to a different country without you. You're asleep though. No. You won't even know I'm gone. Don't even worry about it. I'm gonna come back, you're gonna be like four inches longer and two pounds heavier and probably talking. This is gonna give OSG an opportunity to really instill mama into your vocabulary. Mama. I have to battle that. Alrighty. Love you. I love you too. Hey, me. Be a good girl. Okay. Let's try to get to Mexico. So our, our bags are Dude, good. with a minute spare. A minute to spare. One minute. Thank you so much. I appreciate the help. This bag's good? Yeah. All right. Appreciate it. Have a good one. Oh my goodness. Goodness gracious, y'all. My boy, Matt. <laughs> this man just drove from Oklahoma. I missed my flight in Oklahoma. I drove, somehow made it. Yeah, he drove all the way down here and we got him checked in at the actual <laughs> last minute. Oh, it's gonna be one of them Guggen trips, y'all. It's just gonna be one of them.
Birds in a house. Makes sense because it's a knot. Birds tied up. See that? You guys want to know the behind Bird house. Bird house. There you go. You just watch. That's what it looks like when a man vlogs. When a man vlogs a woman vlogs. Such a terrible person. Never been to this restaurant. Let's go, Spice. Hey, anybody check the Yelp reviews on this place? <laughs> Literally 32 degrees this morning now. 78, sunny. Delicious okay. food. Right? And for the small orders, $170. That's cool that you fish in Texas. You can't see the food Queso. Queso. Wow, that's, that's a real queso. Yummy. Thank you so much. Gracias. Gracias. That's what I'm supposed to say here. Ooh, steamy cheese. Day one. <laughs> Best meal I had in a couple of weeks. Not gonna lie. So we've made a stop here at El Salto, which many of you have probably heard of El Salto if you're into bass fishing and following any kind of you know, Mexico type adventure. So this is one of the other lodges that Ron Speed's Adventures has. And we're stopping off here to get some tackle and supplies and stuff like that. And then we're gonna go on our merry way. But we got these crazy leaf cutter ants here, these crazy tropical trees. And it's just beautiful, man. I love it down here so much. And by the way, guys, on this trip, we are also got Hector. We got Ross from Mystery Tackle Box. We got some other people here. Uh, Juan Carlos, Senor Bass is here. We got a bigger squad. And I've been wanting to fish with Hector for a long, long time. And we're actually going to get a gun this year. So it's happening. I was just telling him we're finally going to fish together. I think. Finally. Look at these gnats. This is not good. What gnats? I see them. We've been warned the gnats are real bad. No, they're not. There's no gnats, they said. I see them. We're just stopping to fly the drone right here, and there's something I noticed about down here in this area. It's just the trash is, it's just everywhere. People just throw their trash out, and I don't know. I don't know what the deal is, but it, it is all over the place. Such a shame, because the area is absolutely gorgeous. The mountains. Oh my goodness. So great, so great. Hey, uh, you know what this reminds me of? I don't know. Decided to get John B. a shirt in the town of Kosala. And he's got a hat too for his uh, wardrobe. Oh, here we go. We well, you know, you got food fry and margaritas? Yeah, Heck yeah, baby! Oh. Margaritas, yeah. here we go. Come on, guys. Hey. Nice to meet you. You're new? Well, I like your food, no. so we're good. He's, he's got the goods. Wow, oh, I'm like still man. full, and this no, is... No, this is good. Thank you. Amazing. Thank you so much. Yeah, pass. Get the margs out there. Look at this. Look at this move oh, right here. This is right, it. Exactly. You take I got the hat, one. Kim. <laughs> What? That's all you, Cheers. buddy. That's all you, buddy. Oh, damn, well, don't put your mustache in there. He just dangled his stash in the, in the pot. Tell you right now, these are... Swallow West, Mexico. We just got air power is now on. Go drink them quick so you don't drink none of that, that ice water. Check this out, though. Something amazing. I got here. They brought my box up from last year. So check this out. I've already got lures in here. Exactly the kind of stuff I need. There's some top waters. There's a bunch of one ouch jugs, chartreuse. I even got some lube in here. Dad gum. That's nice. Look at that. Really? Still here. This is the night before Christmas, y'all. That's what it feels like. We have ravaged. We had a whole suitcase, 69 pounds of Guggen baits. We've got a lot of great colors. So down here, Summer, summer Craw, we've got El, uh, Natural, which I think is probably one of the best colors on the market right now. Right there, Natural. It's got a nice silver belly. It's got some blue and green pumpkin tints to it. We've got our Bandito Bugs, we've got our Mondo Worms, we've got our Trench Hogs. We basically brought the Beef and Dater. That's a tilapia, basically yes. baby bass tilapia color, so it, may, it works well everywhere in the U.S. plus in Mexico. Oh, 
See the hook is exposed through the back? Mm-hmm. Right there? Now watch. Now it's not. Oh, release the action. Yeah! <laughs> release the cracking, baby! Here's what we got going for tomorrow's dangle. Now this is a special piece, y'all. This is for John's uh, wardrobe. He's got to wear that for all that are unfamiliar with that. That is a... Um, that is a symbol. That is for El Chapo. So El Chapo, he's uh, he's from this region. He's the 701st billionaire. Some something to do with that. I don't know. But anyways, got John B hooked up with some some gear to wear while he's down here. He's part of the El Chaparito unit. I cannot wait to take one of those right there, y'all. Oh, let me hold this light. We still we're still without power here. Uh, I cannot wait to take one of these jigs. Now this is something new I haven't even thrown yet. A Trash Master jig right here. Half ounce, three quarter ounce, one ounce. Oh, this is the rig right here. And then we got the Kraken Crawl on there, baby. Ready to go. Flush, ready for brush. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> so the last time me and my dad came down here, it was, uh, it was starting to turn on up shallow. There was a lot of small fish. Uh, kind of in the brush. This is earlier in the year. So we're in between where I came down here with the rest of the Googans while last year and when my dad, me and my dad came down here. So this is when some of the biggest bass are always caught is this week. It's like when they move up and uh, there's a lot of big bass caught. So there's been a little cold front, but everyone's excited. Got a ton of rigging up to do, but I cannot wait to get you guys on the water. It has been a crazy day. Started out freezing cold, wasn't even sure if we were going to make it. We're still down a couple guys, but they're going to be here tomorrow and it's going to be okay. So, if you guys know what to do, subscribe right here because the next one, we are starting off with a beautiful sunrise, some coffee, and we're getting out there to go catch some Mondos. I'll do whatever it takes to get a bite, but oh my gosh, jig, y'all know, that's my thing. I've caught my biggest bass on that and I hope to break it here doing the exact same thing. It's my favorite. Woo! I'm excited if you can't tell. Subscribe right here, hit the notifications so you don't miss the next one, y'all. I love you and I'll see you then.